Hey guys, Paul from CP Addict here doing another product unboxing, review, whatever you want to call it. Um, trying to give you some insight on some products here. Um, before we get started, as always, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. When you subscribe, the videos will come straight to you just as soon as we put out new content. So always don't forget to subscribe. Anyway, today we have the CP Addict Quad Pod. We were the first to market with these, probably, if I was to guess, somewhere about seven years ago. Um, Chris and I wanted another pod in our truck. At the time, there wasn't really a lot of monitor options where you could have a thousand gauges in one little thing. So everybody wanted an extra gauge option. We were trying to come up with a different way to do that. So we bought two, two, eight, gauge a pillar mounts we cut them up duct taped and fiberglass them together and pre-fit them in a truck to make sure that they would work found out that they would work and we found an injection molding company one of the companies that we used to do a lot of our stuff with um, to make these pods for us since then there's been some more come to the market but this is the original you're not going to find another one like it we designed this it's based off of our design you've got Four gauges that go down the A pillar, handy dandy. Um, you can use the the gauge pillar. You can add, you can add the TS switch in there if you want. You can add the Hydra in there if you want. Uh, we carry both of those on the website. Uh, we we carry a full line of ISPRO gauges for these things. Thanks, Mike. You always make a great gauge. Um, you can do anything from boost, EGT, pyro, fuel pressure. H pop pressure, air pressure. Um, I don't know. You can put a mirror in there so you can look at yourself going down the road if you want. It doesn't matter. You, you've got an extra hole to do whatever with. We've all heard that before, haven't we? Oh. <laughs> so anyways, they come in ABS plastic. You can uh, dye them to match your interior: red, blue, gray, tan. You can leave it black for you know an accent color, whatever you want. Any two and a sixteenth inch gauge fits in here, fits in here perfectly. Um, mounts up to the A pillar nice and, and snug, not a whole lot of gap on it or anything like that. So one of the things about this is it is not a replacement pillar um, because if you did, you'd have this big long deal sticking off of it. Be hard as hell to ship. Somebody would get it, they would break it, you'd be sword fighting with it, something, I don't know. So we made it a little shorter like this to, to mount up. You drill one hole here and one hole here and one hole down here if you want to be really non-invasive in your truck and it'll bolt in to factory screw hole locations on the factory a pillar if you want to be a little more snug and secure it comes with a few push pins in it you can drill small holes here and here along with on the back side and you can push the little push pins in and it'll hold the pillar nice and firm and snug that way you don't have to um, basically modify your stock pillar. So if for whatever reason you ever take these out, there's not a bunch of extra holes and junk drilled in your factory pillar. So again, nice clean install with this, looks good. Personally, I have seen lots of different setups. My favorite is to get the uh, Edge CTS-2 and mount it in the bottom hole because you can use it as a code reader. Um, you can set it up to run auxiliary switches and use a backup camera. And then I have my main gauges in here. Being as my truck, personal truck's a five speed, it's um, fuel pressure, um, boost pressure, and pyro in mine. So again, you can do any number of different configurations, but that's my preferred method. So we've had really good luck with these. We've not had any broke ones. They don't sun fade. Um, I say been on the market about seven years now. Some of you know we have them, some of you don't. So just thought I would do a little review and let you know where they came from, you know, kind of the backstory on them, things like that. So again, we're enthusiasts on this sport. It's not just, uh, we're not here to just make money. This is, this is things that we enjoy. So, I mean, we took our time to come up with what would work in this scenario and here it is. So as always, like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Let us know if there's any videos you would like us to see do, products you would like reviewed, um, content you would like in any of our series. 